Welcome to the Manted Chamber, where we'll be fighting, I don't know his name, but he's a pretty annoying boss, and I have no clue why I'm using my voice like this. But, yes, it's Pitikimus, Pitikimus, and uh, he's only annoying because of one mechanic, and... We're really gonna have Blue Lotus talk about all the mechanics, and you can probably figure out the annoying one. So, without further ado, Blue Lotus, please help us with uh, the following uh, boss fight. This boss is very straightforward, but can be quite annoying if you do not know its main mechanic. First off, this boss tends to have a certain pattern. It starts the pattern by throwing three giant spinning blades at you either horizontally or vertically. These are easily dodged by jumping over the horizontal ones and sidestepping the vertical ones. The boss will then jump away from you and cause two rows of spikes to come out of the ground in a V-shape from himself. After the jump he will do the blade attack again followed up by shooting lasers into the sky. While he is launching the laser he gives you a very good opening for you to exploit to damage him. After the laser attack finishes the boss will repeat the jump and blade combo, but then he will change his sight like hands into lances and chase you around the arena. Just touching the lances causes major damage so I do not recommend you stay in one place for long while he is chasing you. He will then repeat the pattern over and over until he reaches half health. He can break this pattern if you stay too close to him however and slam the ground to create a large bubble that can do major damage so make sure to do your damage to him and get out as quickly as possible. Once the boss reaches half health his annoying mechanic comes into play, the boss will spawn a swarm of tiny mantis enemies that you fought during the first few stages of blighted blood. If you destroy too many of them he will just spawn more. Once the boss reaches 0 HP those enemies will jump onto the boss and heal it and the more left on the stage the more it heals. The best way to actually kill the boss is to kill as many enemies as you can without the boss summoning more, drop the boss to 0 HP, and then drop him again as quickly as you can so he doesn't have time to spawn more. This is the only hard part about the boss, otherwise it's quite easy. Thank you for that, Blue Lotus. But yeah, this boss is quite annoying, and just because of his stupid mechanic. Other than that, he's quite easy, as Blue Lotus stated. And here he is spawning more because I killed too many. Uh, the flame ability here for Unica is wonderful because it'll go through pretty much all the enemies and kill a lot of them. Um, his, uh, his spikes that jut out of the ground get a lot harder to dodge after half health because they don't exactly form a V-shape anymore, and he jumps usually towards the middle instead of the opposite side of the arena a lot of times, unless it's like that, but it's still quite easy to dodge, and unless you're in the middle of the arena, he usually doesn't jump on you. Uh, but yeah, if you know what you're doing, you can you can get rid of this boss quite easily. And right here, as you can see, I just uh, activated my boost and just went straight for him. Uh, he has to do his jump and slash pattern before he can summon more. And so that gives you opportune time to get close to him and do damage if you killed enough that uh, he doesn't spawn more before you can damage him enough. Enough repeating of what I'm saying over and over again. Because it's kind of dumb. But, onwards and upwards. We're moving forward. And I think we get stopped soon, maybe, if I remember correctly. I'm not going to cut out save screens anymore because I'm too lazy. Oh, we're going to stop right here. 
Because the Leah Shell says something. And I'm actually not going from save point to save point this episode. Uh, mostly because the next save point was going to be like, um, from this point, it was going to be like 25 minutes away. <laughs> Pretty much. So it was going to be like over a 30 minute episode, and I honestly did not want to sit here and commentate for one episode over 30 minutes. And I don't like uploading that long of a video up to YouTube. But basically, what I was said there, if you weren't reading, listening to the sultry sounds of my voice. That was really weird. But, uh, the knights made it back to the tower, and we have not uh, made it back to the tower base. And we have not figured out how to, uh, fix Lady Fina's predicament yet. That's basically what we learned. And, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, with these guys, uh, the flame ability does not work very well here in the good old land of Demonic Core. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say that. With Demonic Core, you're going, if you want the best damage possible, you're going to be switching stances a lot. Uh, the Whirlwind ability has good damage on these mage guys and these, uh, these flowers, but other than that, uh, not really. Uh, there will be guys who uh, can confuse you by spinning into you, and they're best to use the flame ability against. Um, we should see later on. Uh, 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 also, if you really want a lot of extra XP, use the whirlwind ability here. And they'll just, uh, just because they work, they'll just keep spawning more and more. And, uh, it's really quite useful. Until you kill all of them. And it's still useful. Lots of SP, a lot of XP. Yeah. And... We're going to be taking on uh, the bosses and stuff. Well, we won't be in this episode. But, uh, you got to be really careful with these plants because if you get too close to them, even when they're not actually attacking, they can still damage you because they've got spikes. And this guy's freaking annoying because of his stupid shield. So yeah, not much else to say. Uh, we'll get something to help us a lot more in this episode, and that's and basically what I'm gonna do with this episode is we're going to get a very uh, important new ability. Well, at least I think it's important because it helps. It, really, it's there for clearing uh, rooms easier. At least I feel. It's not that helpful against the bosses, usually. And, uh, yeah. And I did this room completely wrong. Because, uh, I went the wrong way. Like a dummy. So basically this, uh... You can come over here. And, uh... These were the spinning guys I was talking about right here. They're not very affected. I mean, they're kind of affected by this ability, but they take more damage from the flame ability. So it's best off to use that. And, of course, your normal attacks actually are like the best thing that you've got in this area, but I hate using them. And I also hate the stupid confuse, because it, it, it reverses your controls, and I know it reverses your controls, but I still mess it up, 
because my brain doesn't work that way. <clears throat> so yeah. We go this way, and there's a chest here. And this chest will have something very important. And we'll kill the slimes first. Also, if you didn't notice before, having boost mode actually uh, increases your MP regen. So that's kind of why I did that, so I could spam it as much as possible. But, yeah. Onwards and upwards, as they say. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. We're uh, moving onwards and upwards. And what you can do if you want to is just like lame it out here. But uh, that's for the lame. Which I'm kind of being lame. But you can also. Like, the flame ability isn't doing anything against these guys. Only 10 damage. Whereas these do 50. So, uh, it's quite a damage increase. Now our little, uh... These are kind of different from the other ones that just shoot you up in the air. These lift you up in the air. And if we go this way, which is a, you know... It doesn't have its own lift pad, so, you know. But, here's the rue for the rotor fruit we just found. We still don't know what they say. And I'm too lazy to look it up. But, if you are actually looking at the uh, thing at the video, this is where we're pretty much going to stop. I'll show the burst part of uh, your... Uh, you use boost, and then you use boost again in order to use the burst. But uh, we'll see that next episode, and I'll see you then.